Welcome to Mantis Monday, or Tuesday, thanks to my neck. I'm Simon, and this is Curly, or better known as the Rompadera Latibrinotum, also known as the Giant Shield Mantis, the Asian Shield Mantis, the Chinese Shield Mantis, and the Giant Chinese Shield Mantis, and the Round Shield Mantis. And she's a perfect example of why we use the scientific name and not the common name. For a change, scientists picked a decent name for this, the latter pronotum. If we break that down, a pronotum is the shield plate behind the head. A latte has nothing to do with Starbucks. It actually means wide. So therefore, we have wide pronotum. As many of the common names suggest, the last pronotum comes from China, which is quite a large country. And because of its wide area of distribution, it also has a wide range of temperatures that it is quite tolerant to, and it also has quite a wide range of humidity levels it can deal with, and anywhere between 60 and 75 would be fine for this particular one, although it can tolerate even lower or even higher than that, give or take. And it will also be nice if you click the subscribe button down below and don't forget the little bell to make sure you don't miss any other videos, and a like wouldn't be a miss either. You can also leave a comment and tell me what mantis you'd like me to go over next. As I've already said, the Lasperinotum can handle a wide range of temperatures, but room temperature is always best for a mantis, so between 20 and 25. If it drops to 17, 18 degrees at night, or raises to 27, 28 during the day, the Lasperinotum will be fine. As for eating, it's unlike other mantis that pretty much only like flying food. This guy will eat anything you put in front of it. As this man has such a wide tolerance to temperature and humidity and will eat pretty much anything, it makes it a very, very hardy little creature. And it also makes it a brilliant beginner species. As you possibly noticed by my t-shirt, which has a letter for a note about it, Rompadera are one of my favorite genus of all. In fact, I would say the Kirby eye is probably my favourite species. So, if you're really interested in starting up and getting a mantis, I suggest a large one, which is a Rompadera. So, what's my verdict on the Rompadera Lapsipronotum? Excellent mantis, just like the rest of the Rompadera. Should you get one? Are you a beginner? Yes. Are you experienced? Yes. Are you an intermediate? Yes. Everybody should have a Rompadera in their house. And if you haven't, go and order one right now. Thanks for watching.